Hi everybody. So this is the first video after the 48 hour blackout period. So my rounds did okay. There's one leaf browning. The grass lost a couple, um, but the grass really hasn't been doing that good lately anyway. Java moss is Java moss. But the wisteria took a really hard hit. It probably lost about 50% of the bottom leaves. Um, none of the top, but almost all of the leaves on the bottom are gone except on a couple strongest plants. So it's about half as dense as it was. And honestly doesn't look as good. But, you know, I gotta look it up. That may be a type of plant that can come back from something like this and regrow new leaves on the stems. Um, I know at least I've got smaller plants in the front and as those grow up they will cover the dead ones from the big ones in back so over time if these live that will look fine but I am going back to the old um, stronger light period where I'm going to do an hour and a half of the, the weaker light or two hours of the weaker light, four hours of the stronger light, and then two hours of the weaker light. Uh, that seemed to have been doing things better to help things grow for a while. I may do five or six hours of the strong light so stuff comes back quicker and healthier. So overall, unless you have a major cyanobacteria blue green algae problem and you absolutely positively know that that's what it is I would not suggest a blackout period unless you know all of your plants are going to survive because I'm worried about my uh, water wisteria so and that's probably my mistake I probably should have looked it up a little bit more um, I'm not that familiar with the plant, and that is a mistake. You should always be familiar with absolutely everything in your tank. You should never put any plant, wood, or fish in your tank that you don't know everything about because it can wreak havoc.